Hello and welcome to webmastercampus.com. In this tutorial, we are going to learn jQuery find if checkbox is checked or we can say jQuery check if checkbox is checked. Okay, let's get started. So we are inside a folder and then we are going to create index.html. Okay, let's close the explorer, HTML5. And okay, let's write down an h1 tag inside of this, just giving the heading of our title, uh, of our topic with the live server. Now, uh, we are going to use some code, and this code contains a field set. Okay, here we go with the field set or an, uh, a bunch of checkboxes with an array. Remember this field set name is checkbox array. There are ch type checkbox and this bracket shows that we have a checkbox array with different values US, Canada and Australia. Okay. Or you can change it to US, Russia. Okay. And we are looking for China over here. Okay. So here we go. And now let's create a button and on this click of this button we will find how many checkboxes have check, checked. Okay, click click to find country selected, something like this. You can give a message over here and um, our message will appear in the console. So we are good on the HTML. Let's get started with the script. Okay. So if we check our script is we need to include the jQuery because our code uh, we are dealing with the jQuery so I'm going to add a jQuery just above this and we should be fine. Uh, okay now let's go and find the uh, jQuery dollar and in this one I'm going to use the ID hash checkboxes and in this one I'm going to say input and input type equals to checkbox in this here we go and I am looking to find out their length how many boxes we have I'm going to put this inside the console.log and console.log uh, just closing the bracket here we go so you can see it's giving us three because it's just calculating how many checkboxes we have okay to uh, uh, to find out how many checks or uh, we have and when the, this button will click you can just write down something like this uh, dollar okay button on and we are going to write down click and inside of click we have a function and in this function body we are going to put the code we have over here inside of this function body. So you can see when I cl click this button, it is showing that we have three checkboxes. Now, if I will check just the checked over here, it will now show how many check boxes have selected. Okay, so zero means none of the checkboxes selected. If I'm going to select Russia and China uh, and I click this button, it says that we have two checkboxes selected. So you can see how easy it is to find how many checkboxes have selected. We can, uh, if you don't want to find uh, inside of container, you can find all the input box checkboxes, then you can just remove this and we should be good now. Okay, so we can also grab that data by using this input checkboxes. Now, next we are looking to find all the values of checkboxes who are selected. How we can find this? We are going to select this code over here and I'm going to write down in each for this. Inside of each, we are writing a function and in the function body, we will write down console.log and this dot value. This will giving us the how many boxes selected with their value. So I'm going to just cut this code and put this inside of button click and we should be good to figure out how many boxes with their values selected. Okay, let's uh, click the button. So two boxes are selected and their values are Russia and China. Okay, so uh, 
how easy it is to find out jQuery uh, using jQuery if an element or a checkbox is selected and their value. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe my channel.